this is the JLS uh, Geo Li Shang XM8. This is the, uh, I believe this is the carbine version. Maybe, looks to be about the equivalent of a G36K. Um, and we're gonna, I'm gonna take a look over this one and compare it to the M49. First of all, I'm gonna say it's a lot damn heavier. Um, but simultaneously, there are more flimsy parts on this gun than the uh, Double Eagle. Um, this one shoots at most 300 with a .12 gram BB. Um, hop up tab, it's about exactly the same. So this one's gonna have a lot less range uh, than the Double Eagle will. Uh, same standard magazine, although not compatible with the M39. You can clip them together. I only have one. Oddly though, uh, Airsoft Maggot Store still has them in stock. And there's a couple on sale for eBay right now. Uh, there's a rail section here. And then there would have been another one right here, except it's been unscrewed. Maybe I can swap them out, I'm not sure. Would have come with a suppressor, a mock suppressor, but you can see the barrel's been damaged. Looks just like a double eagle one. Flip up and fold down uh, front sight. Which is actually uh, windage adjustable. So you just gotta move this little needle here, the front sight post, and you can do a left or right. And you can also tighten it down in case it gets loose. But the problem with that is that this there's no screw holding this that you can tighten, so it just kind of bounces back and forth. Uh, carry handle is very flimsy, as you can see. Um, I do not feel confident that this will hold up. Adjustable. Very difficult to do fine adjustment. Uh, rear sight. You can put it all the way down if you want to. Um, adjustable stock. That's, that's okay. Uh, missing the rubber butt pad that would have been there. A um, few different positions. Uh, ambi safety selector. Very cool. And this one features a uh, double-sided, uh, what do you call it? magazine release. It's like a paddle release, like an MP5. Um, additionally, there is the traditional one here. Um, I have no idea what the range on the sky would have... This is actually kind of like a soft rubber grip. It's uh, not terribly hard ABS plastic. Um, nice touch. Uh, cocking handle. Uh, feels about on par, if not sturdier, than the Double Eagle version. Uh, this one's actually got a metal core. And then, while the carry handle's still plastic, um, itself, this little knob moves back and forth. As you can see, uh, there, there appears to be a bit thicker plastic and then uh, more metal inside of it, so that's probably why it still works. Um, it's about uh, surprisingly just as tough to pull back as the M49, despite the huge power difference. I'd say 50 FPS to the .12 is pretty huge, but um, don't have the uh, range to test for that. So, not much else to say about this guy. Um, like I said, I would have gone with this one instead, but... Um, I'm sure the uh, the M49, the G36 wouldn't have. It probably would have lasted a bit longer. Um, I can already see the components that would break on here. So, um, oh, supposedly gotta fire it. Okay, dry fire. And then I'll tell you about the trigger too. The trigger is just a little bit rougher. But it's still fairly smooth. And then let me throw a BB in here and show you how that sounds. So the, the double eagle G36 edges out the uh, M49. So. That's really all I have to say about this guy. Um, there's not much information about it, especially not the price, so I have no idea how this would have... Uh, I'm sure there are better video reviews on the shooting, but I feel like I've covered quite a bit here. So, thank you for watching. That was my review of the JLS S-M8, XM8. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.